Goodbye, Shiloh. I love you. Goodbye, Flower. I love you. Goodbye, <laughs> Kyle. I love you. I love you. Love you. Love you. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Dad. How are you, fans of Jenny? Oh, fans of Jenny. They're my friends. Look oh, at this yeah. scarf. It was sent to my P.O. box. Oh, that's pretty. It was handmade by someone. Isn't it gorgeous? That's nice. Thank you. I love it. There was a lot of traffic on the way to City of Hope, so I can't stop and chat before I go in. My dad's going to drop me off right at the door, and I'm going to go straight in. So I will chat with you guys when we come out. I wanted to save a seat while I go look for my dad. And I'm using a maxi pad to save my seat. Classy! Dad's here. Hello. I have my drink. I have to drink half of it now. And the rest at, in 30 minutes, is it? 8.15? Uh, uh, yeah, in 30 yeah, minutes. Do you think that smells good or bad? It smells pretty good, I think. Oh, it's well like that's a, what Kyle like said. Like a fruity drink or something. That's what Kyle said. He thinks it smells good. Not me. <laughs> oh, you know what it tastes like, so that might ruin it. It doesn't taste too bad. It's just, it tastes like an artificial flavored drink, and those aren't my favorite thing. Right. It's fine. So you have to drink half? I was being too nice, it's gross. You have to drink half Ugh. now, they said? Mm. And then if they're finished it in a half an hour. Oh, you're almost halfway. It's disgusting though. Uh, is it syrupy or? It tastes, well, it's not thick, it's light. Like, is it? But it tastes like cough syrup or something. Ew. I'd say that's halfway, ain't it? Oh, you got a line there, okay. Hi. Hi. I'm out of City of Hope. We couldn't film before because we were stuck in traffic, but I'm out. I did my CT scan. It went well. Um, my stomach is making noise. Do you hear it? <laughs> Although it's not as bad as that, that old guy in there. I think he took his wife in. He snored the whole time. <laughs> People go by, make noise, whatever. His head was flopping around and snoring <laughs> the whole time. Okay. It's true. Um, Enough of that. I had an easier time laying flat this time. Good. So I don't know if that's a good sign. Like, sure it is. Maybe there's less fluid. Maybe the cancer's dying. Because it was easier to lay flat than it has been. Or it's that my team has figured out a good recipe for the pain management to where there was less discomfort. Either way, Either it's way good. Is good. Uh, yeah. Something's going in the right direction because I had less discomfort laying flat, which is intriguing to me. I want to see if I could lay flat for other things. You know how I struggle with the brain MRI and mm -hmm. whatnot. I wonder if I could stay flat for other stuff now. I don't know. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm hoping that the, it means the cancer's dying yeah. and that things are gonna start turning around. Yeah. We'll see, I don't know. I'll get the results probably Friday. My nurse practitioner said he would call and if not, I see my team next Wednesday so we'll for sure have the information by then. Um, now we are going to pick up River, <laughs> my nephew. And uh, I got him a toy. Don't turn it on again. No, it takes forever it, to turn it off. Playing. Ashley will probably be mad about that <laughs> since I'm giving it to her to go to her house. That's what's fun Maybe about Maybe we'll keep it at gifts, my house. Giving gifts like that yeah. to the others. <laughs> we'll keep it at my house if you want, Ashley. Uh, but we're gonna go pick up Winnie, my sister, and River, and we're gonna go out to breakfast, which is really yeah, nice. Yeah, what yeah. time is it? It's still early. 8.56. It's only nine o'clock, so we're gonna go have yeah. breakfast. Shouldn't have traffic now going and, back. And so. um, I'll bring you guys along. We have Summer with us, and we're walking her to and school. And Winnie. And Winnie. Good have a good day Love school, you. Summer.
the school called and they said that he was hurt at recess and that he's in the nurse's office crying and that he wanted to speak with me. They left a message, so I called his school. The nurse said he's okay, but she let me speak with him. She said he was shaken up. And so I asked him if he was okay. He was so soft-spoken on the phone, barely talked. And I said, do you want mommy to come get you? And he said, yeah, I wanna go home, which Ellis never wants to go home from school. If you know Ellis, you know. He never wants to leave so I'm here at a school to get him because my baby needs me and this is one of those moments that I've waited for and it's like a bucket list thing for me I'm here for this moment and I'm so grateful it is such a privilege to be able to be here to pick up my baby from school when he needs me I'm so grateful so let's go get him what Winnie <laughs> all right we have Ellis can you smile I'm All right, smile. looking good. I don't want to smile. Oh, poor baby. Come here, give me a hug. Oh. We are home and Ellis is fine. He was just shaken up. He fell while playing with his friends and landed on his face. So it got all scraped up and a little puffy. But he's okay. I think he would have been fine to stay at school. This was just my first time being called for an injury for him and he was crying and I like went into mama bear mode and just wanted to protect my baby so I'm glad I was able to be here for this moment you guys know how important it is for me to be a mama and now we're gonna go have some fun he, school was almost out so he just got out a little bit early that's also why I didn't think it was a big deal to just pick him up if he was crying but um I'm glad I got him. He's okay. We'll just we'll just have some TLC tonight. All right, the perfect way to feel better is to cozy up and watch The Jungle Book. <laughs> Look who's here. Hi, long time. No Dad see. couldn't stay away from me. It's been what, 3 hours? Something like that. And you're back? <laughs> He's here with my brother because on Thursdays they come over to watch the Mandalorian on Disney Plus. Is that what it's called? The Mandalorian? And now I am getting chocolate chip cookies out of the oven because that will make the show even better. Bye guys, thanks for coming. Bye Charlie. He had fun. Bye Charlie. Charlie comes too to play with flour. They're two peas in a pod. Huh? They're buddies. Kyle just finished therapy. I hung out with the kids while they built a fort. And now I'm in bed while Kyle is making dinner for everyone. I am having very bad period cramps. We will talk more about that in just a minute. But I'm going to try to close my eyes for as long as I'm able to and then I will get back to you guys. Oh my goodness, guys, it is three hours later, and I just slept that whole time, the entire evening. I missed dinner. <laughs> Kyle woke me to take blue, and I kept sleeping, and the kids had bath time, bedtime, and I missed it all. Whoops. Sorry, kids. I love ya. <laughs> One of the things I wanted to talk about before I end this video is I started bleeding again. I stopped my hormones and the next day I started bleeding again and the OBGYN called me and she said that we want to see if this is going to be a normal period. If it is, yay. And if it's not, then I need to tell them if I start having crazy heavy bleeding again and huge clots again and then they'll jump in right away to do something. Or I don't know. If it's not a normal period but not crazy heavy, then we're gonna at some point do an, an another ultrasound, I think, and then a biopsy of the thick lining, and then I think a DNC or potentially a DNC, which is clearing out that area just because a lot of you actually said in the comments that 
the thick lining is going to, as long as the thick lining is there, I'm going to keep bleeding because it's trying to clear it out and I keep having this thick lining and so I think it's going to, I think it's going to keep bleeding until it clears. Hopefully it can clear itself out. Some differences, like it's already been a few days of bleeding. You see my rash keeps going in my eyes. So I thought it was styes. And that's what I was putting on my notes, that I was getting a sty. Ow, it's so tender. But I don't know if I should continue calling it a sty, or if I say rash on eyelid. So I get like, the rash comes in this red blemishy stuff, or whiteheads, and or whiteheads. And so I'll get these whiteheads in my eyelid. They rupture into my eye. They're just like styes. They're just quick. They don't stick around as long as styes, but then I keep getting them over and over. And they hurt so bad, they're so tender. So I don't know if I should keep calling them styes or just rash on eyelid. I don't know, it hurts so bad. The red isn't this kind of red. The red is just because it's so swollen and sore. Um, ooh, I don't know. Anyway. Was there something else I was going to say? Oh, the difference so far. So, Kyle's asking me, like, does it seem like a regular period or no? And so far it's a little heavier than a normal period, but nothing crazy. I've always had really heavy periods my whole life. So, I guess it's just if the huge clot starts kicking in um, again if the huge clots start kicking in again, or if crazy heavy bleeding starts kicking in again. I do notice that my, I have period cramps really bad this time, and my last period, the one that was over 40 days, 40 something days, I didn't have period cramps at all during all of the crazy clotting and bleeding but this time I'm having really bad period cramps, like the olden days, like high school. <laughs> and so maybe that's a good sign that it's gonna be a normal period. Maybe that means the lining is finally shedding. I don't know. We'll see, I'll update you guys. Um, but other than that, today went well. I had my CT scan laying flat was easier this time as I told you guys I don't know why or what about it made it easier if it's my new pain management regimen or if it's that things are clearing up in the cancer with the cancer in my chest I'm not sure but it has me excited and I'm hopeful and I will update you guys with results as soon as I get them I never like to keep you guys waiting because I, just the same way I care about other people with cancer, I know you guys care about me and with with my friends and family who have cancer, I always want to know what's going on with them just because I care and I love them. And so I will update you guys. I am going to go so that I can edit and upload this video and go back to bed. So falling asleep for the evening did not interfere with my sleep for the night. I'm going to knock right back out, I can tell you. You guys know I started the new nerve pain medicine and that causes drowsiness. Eventually I will get used to the drowsiness and it'll stop knocking me out. But for now, it has been knocking me out. If you hear wandering around the room, it's Shiloh, my senior dog. He wanders a lot now. We think he has dementia and he just does laps a lot. Poor guy. I love him so much. He's 18 years old. We don't know exactly because he's from the animal shelter, but he is roughly 18 years old and he's still going strong. Oh, really bad period cramps right now. 
telling you, I'm hopeful that it's going to be a regular period because it hurts. It hurts. All right. I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you and appreciate you all, and I will see you very soon. Bye.